Hi, my name is Diane Schuster, and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrate the capabilities of CozyRock's SSIS Plus, which is a software suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. These demonstrations were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2005. The CozyRock tasks and components are available for SQL Server Integration Services 2005, 2008, 2008R2, 2012, and 2014 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the Receive Mail task, which you can use to receive emails and extract their attachments. The task can also decrypt and verify signatures on emails using the SMIME standard. This task comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. In this demonstration, I will show you how easy it is to receive emails and extract their attachments. I will also show you how to set up a filter so that we only process emails received since a specific date from a specific email address. We need to install the Receive Mail task in our toolbox, so we right mouse click in the toolbox and then go to Choose Items. Then we go to SSIS Control Flow Items. And we scroll down until we find the Receive Mail task and we check the checkbox and you can see it is a Cozy Rock task. And now you can see it's in our toolbox. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a package to receive regular emails. We'll retrieve only the emails that have been received since a specified date and we'll extract the attachments and put them in a file folder. Now we're going to drag the receive mail task onto our canvas and we're actually going to use it three different times in this package. So this first time we're going to use it to get the mail list. So we'll change the name to get mail list. And now we go in and the action defaults to get mail list, so we don't need to change that. And then we need to set up a result variable where the return list of mail will be stored. And we're going to name that mail list 1. And we choose a value type of object and then we're done with that. And now we need to set up a connection manager for the email. So we'll choose new IMAP connection and we change the connection type to implicit SSL and we type in the host which I'm using Gmail for this demo and port 993 and my username and the password and now we'll test the connection and that's good and now we're going to filter the email because I don't want it going all the way back through all of my emails so we're going to start from June 21st. And I've also specified a particular email address that I want to receive the emails from. Now we're going to use the for each loop container so that we can cycle through the list of emails one at a time and look for attachments. We'll go to collection and we change this to for each from variable enumerator and then we go and we choose the variable that we just set up which is called mail list one and now we go to variable mappings and we're going to set up a new variable and we'll call it email item and its purpose is to keep track of where we are in the list of emails as we iterate through the list and it's uh, value type is object and we're done with that. Now we're going to drag a copy of the receive mail task into the for each loop container and this time we're going to use it to get each of the emails from the list that we created earlier. We'll name this one get mail. So we set the action this time to get mail and now we need to set up a local file which is um, where the email, as each email is read, it's going to be stored here. And so we're going to put it in an existing file. And now we'll go find the file. It's called emailbody.eml. And we're going to set overwrite existing to true because we don't need to keep the body of the email. We just cycle through and keep uh, writing over 
this file. And then we set up our connection manager again for the IMAP connection manager. And the mail variable will be email item. Now we're going to use the receive mail task one more time and we put it inside the for each loop container. And this time we're going to use it to open the mail that has already been placed in our local file. And I'm going to change the name here to open mail and get attachments. And of course we're going to set the action to open mail. And now we're going to choose the local file where the body of the email is already stored and it's called emailbody.eml. We leave decrypt sent to false and we're going to create a connection for the folder where we want all the attachments placed. So here we select existing folder and then we'll browse to find the location of the folder. Now we're ready to execute. And we have success, so we'll stop debugging. Here's a quick look at the execution results. And now we'll go take a look at the actual folder where the email attachments were placed, and they're all there. In case you're wondering about the syntax of the filter parameter, you can find this information in the Receive Mail Task documentation on the Cozy Rock website. In summary, I have shown you how easy it is to extract attachments from emails received since a specific date from a specific email address using Cozy Rock's Receive Mail task. This task comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. And that concludes this demo.